one of the wonderful things about this is that you can work with this like finger paints when you were a kid. And I always think of pulp painting as a means to play and explore and try things that I, maybe I haven't done before. You can treat the pulp paints as a wash so that you get very um, transparent layers. This is going to be too thick. Let me see if I can. Oh, this will be better. So you can see here that I'm toning and I'm just being really free with the way that I'm utilizing uh, the fiber. Now, if I have it thicker, then I'm going to get more of a hard edge line. So I can, I can also work with um, a stencil so I could block out certain areas like that. And the problem is whenever I demonstrate, I can't think about composition and what, what's a nice, a nice idea in the work. I just have to demonstrate and show that and then I can go from there later when I'm by myself. But you can see that after I put that piece of cloth there, I have a very hard edge that stopped the pulp from going any further. Whereas on this side, where I was just kind of moving it and manipulating it with my fingers, it's a lot more abstracted and energized. I can um, collage other materials into the work. So here's just another little piece of paper that I'm going to tear a piece from and I'm just going to lay it in here. And then I can take a contrasting color which I'll do here so that you can see that I'm embedding that. Or I can take a color that blends it so that it's less noticeable. And I just let that sink into the paper. So here is the black and there's the yellow that will become less noticeable. I can incorporate any kinds of materials. In this particular one, I have a piece of thread here. And I could just lay that in here and embed it, or I can dip it into a little bit of pulp. Can you see that? And if I just lay that onto my sheet of paper, I can, I can draw with it in any way that I want. And that little bit of pulp will embed that thread permanently into the composition of the piece.